in Indiana, you grow up, you know, wanting a couple things. You want to win a state championship. You want to play for the Indiana All-Star team. And you want to win Mr. Basketball. And I was able to accomplish two of those. And one of them I accomplished twice. In recruiting Bryant, you, you could see that he had all the things it took to be a really good player. You know, the thing that I loved about him was he was always a winner. If you look at his situations that he was in, high school, AAU, he was consumed by winning. He always made others better. And he was very talented. Me going all in, it kind of started um, on my first visit here. It was August 10th of 2013. We got to kind of see Coach Collins' vision, what he had planned for me, how he envisioned using me and to his system. He and I developed an amazing relationship in recruiting. Uh, there was a depth to our relationship. We, we, right away, we just clicked. So I go home and then uh, about a month later, we have my in-home visit with Coach Collins. To be able to culminate with his whole family there uh, was a day I'll never forget. I mean, it was a, a very emotional day because we knew how important to our program it was to, to get someone of Bryant's caliber to, to join and be at the forefront of what we were trying to do with our program. You know, Coach Collins was kind of giving me his spiel of, you know, we need people to be all in. And my grandma, on the way home from our previous visit, she had talked to me about, you know, if you commit there, you can you can use a chip, like a poker chip. So I wrote in, wrote on the chip, all, and then with an N in purple. And then I wrote the date on the back, and I did two of them. And I put the chips on the table and slid them. I'll never forget September 9th. 2013, it was the day Brian McIntosh decided to be all in with Northwestern basketball. 